Hello friends. My name is Ankush. In this video, we are going to discuss about the ticketing tools and the ITL process. When we are working in a infrastructure, uh, maybe we are the DB or maybe we are some working with another technology, maybe with the like a network or anything. ITL process will be the same for all the technologies who are mainly working with the ticketing tools. So, in this video we are going to look after the ticketing tools and the ITL process. When we are working on the production environment, we have some kind of the SLA. So let me go in a next slide so that I have created a couple of slides slides for you. Okay. So we do have a different kinds of tickets. The ticket can be incident, service request, problem ticket or change request. Incident kind of the tickets will be created when there is the interruption in the normal business. Let's say everything is looking fine and suddenly some issue is occurring and because of that only our business is impacting that time user will create the incident. For example, my database is down. So in that case what will happen, whatever the users who are trying to access the database, they won't get the data, right? So in that case, uh, what I will do, I will create the incident and I will assign that ticket to the DB group. Okay. So what is happening in this example, I am the caller, I am the requester for the incident and I am assigning that ticket to the DBA group. Next thing is service request. We will raise the service request when there is no impact to the business. Let's say a new employee has been joined to my team and he need a access to the server or maybe on some database. So what I will do, I will create one service request and I will assign that request to the respective group. Because as of now, we am not seeing any kind of the impact on the business. So I will create a service request. Next thing is problem ticket. there is a issue which is occurring frequently for example today my database is down we have done some research and we put the database is up and running state what i am seeing after some time again the same database is getting down so this issue is occurring frequently what we need to do, we need to find the root cause analysis so that the same database will, no, will not go down for the same issue. So to track this issue, we will create a problem ticket and that ticket will be assigned to the group who will resolve that ticket. And the last thing is change request. When we are doing any kind of the activity, which is going to affect the environment either it is a production development or test that time we are creating a change request for example if unix team want to do any kind of the os patching that time they will raise the request with they will raise the change request further it will go for the approval approval will be taken by the unix team or the owner of the server from database side if we are doing some database level patching activity then we will raise a change request okay 
and then we will take the approval from the database owner okay now we are talking about the SLA SLA is the service level agreement in between the organization and the client when any project is coming a document is created we called it as the service level agreement in between the organization and the client so that it is like uh, one official document where all the roles and responsibility of the organization is respective to the client will be defined now I am taking here one of the example let's say a user is saying that the database is down what he will do he will create one request sorry in that case he will create an incident when the database is down he will raise one incident and he will assign that incident to the database team now it is our responsibility to make sure to put the database in up and running within the time so if we are taking if the DBA taking a lot of time to put the database is in up and running state then SLA can be missed right so client have defined some responsibility and the resolution SLA now what is the difference between the responsibility and the resolution SLA when user is creating the ticket or incident saying database is down or he need access it is the responsibility of the DBA team or the resolver group to acknowledge that ticket so the time between creation of the ticket and the acknowledgement of the ticket we called it as a responsibility and what about the resolution SLA when the DBA group or the resolver group is resolving the ticket that time we called it as a resolution SLA so it is basically the time between the response SLA and the resolution SLA we are getting a different kind of tickets critical tickets, high tickets, medium level tickets and the low level tickets critical, critical kind of tickets means which are very critical there are some of the database which are very critical and there should not be a downtime so what I will do user will create a P1 kind of ticket we called it as a critical ticket for critical ticket response SLA and the resolution SLA will be very low so we need to make sure that we, need, we will resolve the tickets within the SLA otherwise the penalty can be occurred on the organization that penalty needs to be paid to the client high medium and low high level ticket which is quite much we called it as a, it is lower than the critical ticket sometimes in other environment we called it as a p2 ticket the response and the resolution we SLA for the high tickets will be lower as compared to the critical tickets and for medium and low it will go like that so for low ticket response and the resolution SLA will be quite higher ok higher means to say if the critical for the critical ticket if the uh, response SLA is 15 minutes then for high level ticket response SLA will be 30 minutes for medium it can be 4 hours or for low ticket it can be 8 hours ok so this is how the priority of the tickets can be defined the priority of the tickets will be different from organization to organization from projects to projects because it is defined by the client next thing we are getting the ticket index tool 
what is happening when user is facing any kind of the issue he is creating the ticket he will create the ticket with the help of the ticketing tools in most of the environment you will see the service now and the bmc or there are some other ticketing tools also available so here i am taking the example of service now i have taken one one of the screenshots which will show see here on the left hand side you can see a number of option if i want to create an incident i will click here so this is the one incident which has been created by see here the caller name is not mentioned here and this is opened by solar wind so it this is the automatic ticket so we can have a different kind of ticket user created ticket and the tickets which have been created by the tool itself so this is the configuration done by the tools team this is about the priority this is what i was thinking and this is what i was uh, saying it before and this is the assignment group so if any user is creating if user is facing any kind of the issue he will write the short description brief description here he will assign the ticket to the assignment group and assigned to will be the person who is going to resolve that ticket so if i am the resolver what i will do i will put this ticket into the work in progress and once everything is looking fine then i will resolve this ticket by putting some description that what i have whatever the steps that i have taken to resolve this ticket so this is how the flow is going on and for the service request also these are the option my request request to data so that's it friends if you have any queries you can write mail to me thank you so much for watching this video bye bye